today I just thought I'd um, give you a little overview of uh, an app uh, called BirdNet which um, which I have on my Android phone I'm um, you can probably download it on uh, Apple phones as well um, but I thought uh, I'll just uh, show you this because it's something I've found useful uh, in recent times didn't downloaded it and what it does basically is it um, records bird sounds which you can then uh, select and it will then analyze those sounds uh, and give you the uh, an identification of the bird so it's really useful for um, wildlife photographers or naturalists people uh, who are out, out and about uh, looking at nature um, and my I've, I've been bird watching for 40 years or something like that a long time but my um, my identification of birds by their calls is act actually very, very poor. I mean, I can probably identify maybe, I don't know, 15 or 20 species, but that's not really very good. Um, I have been with some people who are really good at it, and it's, it, it's very impressive when you see people who can tell, um, tell pretty much everything, identify pretty much everything they can hear in the woods. Uh, I'd love to be like that. But this application, um, bird... BirdNet has um, has really helped me to um, to improve my uh, my uh, awareness and uh, uh, an understanding of uh, bird sounds. So um, and of course it's great, particularly uh, in bad lights or in woods um, where you you know getting it's difficult to see birds. It's a bit difficult to see them and identify them visually. To be able to identify them by their calls is just great. So. Um, It'll, uh, I'll, I'll just show it to you. Um, looks, it looks like this, um, and as you can see, it starts to record um, uh, for using the uh, the phone's um, microphone. And then what you do is you stop the recording, and um, and you you get a pattern here on this graph, which you select a section of that pattern. Uh, and then press analyze and it will then send that off to um, it's a small relatively small uh, sound clip it'll send that off to um, central servers which will then uh, seek to identify the bird I found it I found it works pretty well even a lot of the places because I'm based in London and I do my photography my nature photography predominantly in London this is uh, my back garden at the moment but uh, Normally I'm out in the woods near here and um, there's a lot of background noise, people shouting and screaming, there's cars and ambulances and all sorts of things. Um, but I find that if I actually point the um, camera toward the bird, um, it, 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 it's, it's pretty good at, uh, at, um, at uh, identifying that bird noise from the background uh, noise. and. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. And it also, of course, contributes to a larger research project based at Cornell University in the States, um, which is looking to, um, uh, to analyze uh, uh, this data, you know, collected by people around the world. So it's, a, it's an interesting project. Uh, and it's a, and f as a person interested in wildlife or photography, it's a great app. So I'd, uh, I'd, if you're interested, I'd suggest uh, download it. Download it. It's free. And, uh, and give it a go, see what you think. Uh, it would be great at this point if there were any birds around that I could, but I can't actually hear any birds at all at the moment. They're probably, or they've probably been frightened off by me, me talking here, but um, I often get, uh, this is actually, it's difficult to, for you to see here, but this tree here is, a, is not actually a tree, it's dinosaur food. It's a, a maidenhair fern, ginkgo biloba. Um, it's, a, it's a fern which actually predates the trees. Um, but in this tree we, get, we do get uh, wrens and t um, tits and crows and all sorts of things. So um, it would be great if something was about now, but... Uh, Maybe I'll go into the woods and see what I can see what I can get. Give you a live demonstration, but uh, yeah, BirdNet, give it a go.